What is going on, pimps and players? It's your boy named Jamie, and today I'm going to be going over a guide for the mini quest called In Search of Knowledge. This is a fairly simple mini quest, but can be rather time consuming due to how many NPCs we have to kill. There are no requirements for this mini quest, however, I strongly recommend at least 43 prayer so you can access the Protect from Melee overhead, and I also recommend a decent ranging or melee level because of how many NPC or spiders we're going to have to kill during this mini quest. For your inventory, I would suggest at least one ranging pot, one stamina pot, 10 to 12 prayer pots, at least seven monkfish, one knife or any slash weapon to get through a, a cobweb or a spider web so you can bring a whip or a scimitar also one skilling necklace in one teleport to the great karen i'm going to be using my player owned house for that teleport what you want to wear for this is a blowpipe and your best ranging gear that can be elite void for the prayer bonus and damage or regular void also works perfectly fine or you can just bring d hide or armor you can also bring a melee setup with a whip or whatever your best melee uh, weapon is and a defender and some proselyte for the prayer bonus, but I would highly suggest the range over the melee simply due to how much better it is at DPSing the spiders. Also, make sure to leave three spaces open in your inventory so we can pick up the books at the start of the quest. Now, to start the mini quest, you're going to want to use the skills necklace to teleport to the woodcutting guild. The regular dungeon, fourth low uh, dungeon, is directly north of uh, this area, but we're actually going to go into the side entrance because it is slightly faster to uh, get to the NPC we need to talk to to start this uh, mini quest. Make sure to drink a stamina here as this uh, little run you're doing right now is actually going to be a majority of the running you're doing during the quest. So right now we're passing through the regular dungeon entrance, which is the stairs right there, but instead you're gonna to wanna to keep running, run over this bridge, then run directly east, and then click on this little island over here, and that's gonna loop you around to the ladder we need to take down. If you didn't teleport using your skills necklace, uh, you can also teleport using the Hosidius um, book you get during the quest, um, which will bring you right over here, and you can simply run over. If you weren't able to bring the Great Karen teleport that I asked you to bring, um, after we collect all these books, you're simply gonna have to run up to the Archaeus house after uh, this is basically done. So to start this, let's run down this, or let's go down this ladder and run directly south. There are some level 75 spiders here. Um, feel free to pr protect from melee on if you really don't want to take any damage, but they don't hit that hard. At the bottom of this room is a cobweb. You're going to want to cut that cobweb um, to get through. And once you do, there's another cobweb directly south of it. You're going to want to cut that one as well. In this room, you're going to find Brother Amurai, and you're going to want to talk to him. He's going to ask you for some food, and after that, you're going to right-click the monkfish in your inventory, click Use, and then click on him. That's going to start for healing him. You want to bring his HP bar to full, which is what the, the seven monkfish are for. Once he's at full health, you're going to want to talk to him, and he's going to have four chat options. You're going to want to go through all four of those options, and that should start the mini quest. He's basically going to tell you about these two gods that exist in the dungeon, and he's going to go ask you to find out some information about them. Now, make sure before you leave this area that you have indeed started the quest. It should be yellow. And once it is, you're just going to want to run directly west of where he's standing to the library. In the library, there are undead druids that hit you with melee, or mage, and they can hit quite hard, like up to 20. So feel free to put to put your Protect from Mage on here and enter the room. Now, in the four corners, there are these bookshelves. Go ahead and search every one of these bookshelves in the different four corners. This should give you three tomes that we're going to have to fill during this mini quest. These tomes are the Tome of Moon, the Tome of Sun, and the Tome of Temple. Once you have all three, go ahead and, and head, uh, make your way back to Brother Amrai. Now, the way this quest works is we need pages to fill these tomes with. You get pages from killing the various monsters within this dungeon. But from what I understand, each monster's uh, drop table has the pages in unique. So in order to get the most kills and chances to hit that unique table, I chose the lowest monster to kill in this dungeon, which is the level 75 spiders. So I go ahead and run back to where we entered the dungeon at, 
and here you're gonna find some probably other people doing this you're gonna want to turn your protect from melee on go ahead and stand the center here because it's a really good aggro spot turn on your uh, auto retaliate and just start going to town with your blowpipe on these people make sure to drink a ranging pot as well now these spiders have a small chance of dropping the pages we need to fill the book the pages pages will be like the shattered page of the sun the shattered page of the moon so on and so forth when you get one of those pages you're going to want to put that page into the corresponding book um it says so obviously the moon pages go with the moon book now i had to kill 300 oh i just got one perfect um I had to kill 320 spiders to get all 12 pages. So here I got a page. As you can see, I left click it. it is a moon page. So I'm going to put it in the moon book. I've already done this, so it won't work, but that should work for you. After you've put four pages in each one of these books, it's going to tell you that Lagasia in the Archaeus library wants to talk to you or might be interested in these books. When that happens, you're going to want to leave this dungeon, and if you don't have a great Karen teleport, you're going to have to run up here all the way to the Archaeus Library, which is just up this route here. If you do have the teleport that I told you brought you, or I told you to bring, go ahead and use it now, and we're going to uh, be very close to the Archaeus house, and we're just going to run north after this teleport. So once we teleport here, drink another stamina if you need it. And we're just going to continue to run north here. Now, Lagasia is located in the middle of the library on the first floor. When we see her, we're going to simply want to right-click and use one of our books on her. And that's going to start a dialogue where she talks about how interesting this book is. She is then going to accept your other books um, as a donation. And in return... She is going to give you a 10k XP lamp, and that signifies the end of the mini quest. Now, it is unknown what level requirement is needed for you to use that lamp on. So it, whether you need a skill to be above 40 or above 50, it's unclear at this moment. But if you find out, go ahead and leave a comment down below to let others know. So I'm here. You just simply want to want to click on her with a book. That's going to start the dialogue and end the mini quest for you. Um, hopefully you found this mini quest useful. Uh, let me know if I can improve on anything down below in the comments. Uh, also, while you're down there, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.